स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न मोर मैथ्स माय नेम इज वरक मार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द चैप्टर रियल नंबर 6 इज 1.3 थर्ड प्रॉब्लम सो सी स्टूडेंट व्हाट ही इज आस्किंग टू फाइंड अस राइट द फॉलोइंग रेशनल्स इन डेसिमल फॉर्म यूजिंग थ्योरम 1.4 सो स्टूडेंट हियर ही हैज गिवन सम रेशनल नंबर्स totally there are uh, five bits in the third problem student this is first bit 13 by 25 has given he has given a rational number he is asking to write the given rational number in the decimal form using theorem 1.4 so in the first problem we have written the uh, decimal form of the given rational numbers by dividing the numerator with the denominator but here he is asking to write the decimal form of the given rational number using theorem 1.4 so before that student uh, you must have clear idea about the theorem 1.4 what is the statement of the theorem 1.4 what it states uh, how can we find the decimal form of the given rational number using theorem 1.4 so see student what it says theorem 1.4 uh, that is a uh, if x is a rational number if x is any rational number then it is of the form x is equal to p by q x is a rational number then it is of the form x is equal to p by q then the prime factorization of the q is in the form of 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m so here n comma m are non negative integers non negative integers non negative integers non negative integers so see student what it says what is the statement of theorem 1.4 if x is any rational number which is in the form x is equal to p by q if the prime factorization of a q is equal to 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m here n comma m are non negative integers then the decimal form of x is a terminating decimal then the decimal form of x is a terminating decimal terminating decimal so this is the theorem 1.4 terminating decimal so see student once again let a small x be a rational number which is in the form p by q if q can be written if the prime factorization of q is in the form 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m n comma m are non negative integers then x has a terminating decimal so this is theorem 1.4 how can we write the given rational number in decimal form using this theorem see student if the prime factors of q are in the form of 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m it is nothing but see here if we have multiples of 10 in the denominators of the given rational number it is very easy to write uh, in decimal form suppose see here uh, all these numbers uh, suppose uh, i am writing if you observe 32 divided by 10 456 divided by 100 in the same way 1035 divided by 1000 so see student uh, you know all the rational numbers the denominators are multiples of 10 so here it is very easy to write here it is 3.2 here it is 4.56 here it is 1.035 so using theorem 1.4 we have to write the denominator we have to make the denominator in multiples of 10 we have to convert the denominator in multiples of 10 then it is very easy to write in decimal form so this is a theorem 1.4 student and now how can we write the given rationals in decimal form using theorem 1.4 so see here student this is first bit in the third problem 13 by 25 has given so given rational number is equal to So what is the given rational number uh, 13 by 25 so now take 13 by 25 so now how to write the prime factors of q so 13 by 25 can be written as 5 into 5 5 into 5 
so it can be written 13 divided by 5 to the power 2 5 to the power 2 so to make a file as a 10 so we have to multiply by 2 so for that what I am doing see here but here 5 to the power 2 is there so we have to multiply and divide by 2 to the power 2 5 to the power 2 is there so I am multiplying and dividing by 2 to the power 2 so this you have to understand student so here 13 divided by 40 to the power 2 is there to make the denominator as multiple of 10 so if it is 5 to make it is as 10 we have to multiply by 2 so if we multiply you have to divide with 2 also so here 5 to the power 2 is there to make the denominator multiple of 10 we have to multiply and divide 2 to the power 2 so if it is 5 to the power 3 you have to multiply by 2 to the power 3 so that's uh, you have to understand here student uh, see here uh, how can we write here uh, so now I am writing here uh, so multiply the numerators and the denominator 13 into 2 to the power 2 can be written as 4 student uh, divided by 5 square so here 5 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 it can be written as 5 into whole to the power 2 5 into whole to the power 2 so next uh, here we can write uh, 13 into 4 uh, multiply 13 fours are 52 divided by 5 into 2 is 10 10 to the power 2 so we can write uh, 52 divided by 10 to the power 2 is 100 52 divided by 100 so now the denominator is the multiple of 10 now it is very easy to write the decimal form so here how can we write 52 by 10 is equal to 0 0.52 0 0.52 so this is the decimal form of 13 by 25 therefore we can write 13 divided by 25 is equal to 0 0.52 so this is the decimal form of the given rational number student just you have to understand this step we have to make the denominator as the multiples of 10 then it is very easy to write the decimal form of given rational number using theorem 1.4 so student this is first bit in the third problem so next we have to solve second. this is second bit in the first problem student 15 by 16 it has given again we have to write the decimal form of the given rational number using uh, theorem 1.4 that is a given rational number is equal to uh, 15 by 16 it has given so see here how can we write uh, 15 divided by 16 equal to so now we have to uh, make the denominator as the multiple of 10 for that we have to uh, write the prime factors of denominator 16 can be written as 2 into 8 8 can be written as 2 into 4 4 can be written as 2 into 2 so these are the prime factors of 16 student uh, again if you multiply 2 2 2 2 2 2 are 4 4 2 are 8 8 2 are 16 so 15 divided by now it is 2 to the power 4 how many 4's are there uh, sorry how many 2's are there 4 2 to the power 4 so now to make the denominator multiple of 10 if it is only 2 we have to multiply and divide it by 5 so but here 2 to the power 4 is there now we have to multiply and divide by 5 to the power 4 to make the denominator as the multiple of 4 so for that what I am doing see student uh, 15 divided by 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 4 divided by 5 to the power 4 so now see here 15 into so 5 to the power 4 is 625 student 5 into 5 is 25 25 into 25 is 625 so 15 into 625 divided by so it can be written as 2 into 5 whole to the power 4 2 into 5 whole to the power 4 so now how to multiply 15 into 625 so 15 fives are 75 5 and 7 15 twos are 30 plus 7 37 and 3 15 six are 90 90 plus 3 93 so now we have 
9375 divided by 2 into 5 is 10 so 10 to the power 4 so now 9375 divided by 10 to the power 4 is 10,000 student how much it is 10,000 so it is the decimal form is 0 0.9375 so see student uh, how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4 so now we have to uh, write a decimal after four digit 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 write decimal and write zero on the left side so therefore the decimal form of the given rational number 15 by 16 is equal to how much student 0 0.9375 so this is the decimal form of the given rational number so student this is second bit and next we have to solve third bit this is third bit in the first problem again we have to write the decimal form of the given rational number using theorem 1.4 so what he has given is 23 divided by 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 so given rational number is 23 divided by 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 so now it is a very easy student already he has given the prime factors of a denominator so 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 so to write the denominator as the multiple of 10 here we require one more 5 so here 2 to the power 3 is there 5 to the power 2 is there so if it is 5 to the power 3 it is very easy so we have to multiply and divide the given rational number by 5 so now write 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 so into 5 divided by 5 so just i have multiplied and divided by 5 so now multiply these two 23 into 15 uh, we can get 115 divided by it is a 2 to the power 3 5 to the power 2 into 5 again it becomes 5 to the power 3 so now we have 115 divided by it is a 2 into 5 whole to the power 3 2 into 5 whole to the power 3 so see student uh, it is a uh, 115 uh, divided by so 2 into 5 is 10 to the power 3 2 into 5 is 10 to the power 3 very easy now so it 115 divided by 10 to the power 3 is uh, 10 into 10 into 10 we get 1000 so 115 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.115 so this is the decimal form of the given rational number therefore we can write 23 divided by 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 is equal to 0 0.115 so this is a third bit student totally we have five bits so next we have to find the decimal form student, of student this is fourth four. bit in the third problem 7218 divided by 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2 again we have to write the decimal form of the given rational number using theorem 1.4 so for that we have to write uh, uh, make the denominator as the multiple of 10 so given rational number uh, see here uh, how can we write it uh, 7000 218 divided by 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2 so write the numerator as usual 7218 divided by 3 to the power 2 is 3 into 3 that is 9 and write 5 to the power 2 as usual so here uh, there are common factors for both 9 ones are 9 here 9 8s are 72 okay so 0 9 2s are 18 so we can get student uh, 802 divided by 5 to the power 2 so now the given rational number converted into 802 divided by 5 to the power 2 so now to make the denominator is 10 we have to multiply and divide by 2 to the power 2 so now i am writing see here uh, 802 divided by 5 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 divided by 2 to the power 2 so see here how can we write it uh, 802 into 2 to the power 2 is 4 
divided by 5 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 it can be written as 5 into whole to the power 2 5 into whole to the power 2 so just we have to multiply these two so 802 into 4 so see student uh, so 4 2s are 8 and 4 into 0 is 0 4 8s are uh, 32 3 to 0 8 divided by 5 into 2 is 10 10 to the power 2 so we can write uh, 3 to 0 8 divided by 10 to the power 2 is 100 so 10 into 10 is 100 so now the decimal form is uh, 32.08 how much it is 32.08 so this is the decimal form of the given rational number student this is fourth bit so next we have one more bit in the third problem next we have to solve fifth bit student this is fifth bit in the third problem 143, 143 divided by 110 is given again we have to write the decimal form of the rational number using theorem 1.4 so for that we have to make the denominator as the multiple of 10. So since here uh, given rational number is 143 divided by 110. So again I am writing 143 divided by 110. So student if there are any common factors for the numerator and denominator we can cancel with common factor. Here cancel by 11. 11 tens are 110. Again here 11 ones are 11, 33. 11 3s or 33 so now it is 13 by 10 so student it is very easy now it is uh, the denominator is a multiple of 10 it is very easy to write the uh, decimal form 13 divided by 10 is 1.3 very easy student therefore we can write uh, 143 divided by 110 is equal to 1.3 so this is the decimal form of the given rational number so student this is the fifth bit in the third problem so all the five bits we have completed so student if you are watching first time my channel subscribe and hit the bell icon whenever i upload the videos you can get the notification and share to your friends so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem